What's going on, everybody? Real Housewives of New Jersey, Season 7, Episode 13, I believe, Picking Size. Okay, I'm going to get through this video real quick because the debate is about to come on, and I really want to watch that because it is a shit show right about now. Um, Joe is about to go to jail, so on next week's episode, he goes off to jail. Basically, we got Dolores and Siggy just going around, you know, talking to Jacqueline, talking to Teresa, talking to Melissa about what happened, you know, at the, um, the, 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 the Vermont, okay? And Siggy, you're way too fucking invested in this shit. You're getting too fucking hype over it for fucking nothing, and it's like like uh let it the fuck go okay move on it's over and done with they don't fucking like each other right about now Jacqueline is over it so she says okay you're dragging it out going to talk to Teresa about it going to talk to Jacqueline about it then going to tell Jacqueline what you talked to Teresa about then going to tell Teresa what you talked to Jacqueline about if you're going to be a neutral party you want to be friends with both of them quit mentioning each other to each other okay stop it all right and then involving Kim D Kim D sitting there talking about Teresa and her husband, maybe he cheated. Like, we all don't know that Joe probably been cheating on her ass, okay? Ever since that phone call when um they was in that vineyard and he was like, my bitch of a wife is coming, let me hurry up. Whoever the fuck he was talking to, most likely a, a bitch. I'm just saying. But it was just irritating. It was really so fucking irritating to listen to. Siggy, what is your problem? And you got a man and you so heavily invested in these fucking relationships that of people that you only known for two years? Like, come on. Okay. You know, Melissa, you did get called out a little bit. Why was you trying to rewrite history, whatever? Because you did take a slow time to say that Jacqueline did try to warn you that something was going to happen or tell you that they was talking shit about your ass with Strippergate. But like they said, why the fuck did she bring it up? Okay, it was no need for her to bring it up. And Siggy seeing how Jacqueline is a little bit. Dolores is just used to the shit. So she just, you know, it is what it is. All three of them got events coming up. Dolores went to Kim D event, okay? And um, Jacqueline said she, no, Siggy said she wasn't going to go to Jacqueline's event, okay? She wasn't going to go, no, she was going to Jacqueline's event. She wasn't going to Kim D's event, and she wasn't going to, to um, Melissa's event. She wound up not going to Kim D's event, but she said she was going to Jacqueline's event. So, hell, if I can go to your event, I can go to um you know, with that girl, Melissa's event. Mind you, Melissa confronted old boy um, about taking pictures and selling stories to the press or whatever about Teresa. And he said it was a complete lie. Anything that he's ever said was, you know, um, positive. And, you know, Melissa said she went back and looked at his videos and things of that such. But she got other stuff to deal with, with the fact that the online portion of her store is not doing as well. But then you have a business partner, Jackie, who keeps going out of town. Like, this bitch just came off a of vacation. And in a couple of weeks, she finna go to the Bahamas. Like... What is this? Girl, you need to get that shit together. But um that's basically what was going on. Dolores and um T M Teresa at the end had a conversation and basically saying if we was in each other's shoes, we would have did the same thing that, you know, each other did, okay? Meaning if Joe if if Dolores was with a husband like Joe, she would have stayed too. If um Teresa was with a husband like Dolores, she would have left too. You know, other than that, nothing really happened besides Chris and Jacqueline having this event for their Colonel Popcorn and Chris announcing the fact that um Ashley is now engaged and also pregnant. Siggy was so fucking excited. I said, is that your child? <laughs> like, she's just so extra. But... That's basically what happened on the episode. No need to draw it out. I'm about to watch this debate because, girl, y'all seen the shit that's been going on. That's way more important than this fucking show because it was boring as shit tonight. But y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I will see y'all later. Peace.